sokote sokote mama koko iko lelile koko iko prokoto 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 sokoto sokoto I'm Alex Reed. I'm a producer engineer. I've been doing this about six years. I'm mostly self-taught. And right now, um, over the last four months, I've moved to London and I'm now working on lots of different, exciting new projects. I literally just quit my job on Friday. Today's Wednesday. I've literally been out of a job for like a couple of days and I wouldn't call it out of a job. I'm actually doing this full time, doing this doing this music thing for real, which is, is pretty scary, but I had quite a lot of really cool experiences since I've been in London. And there's been some really like interesting people that I've met and interesting things that I've done. Already got effects on my vocals. Does it sound any good already? Vocals. Yeah, yeah. I can hear myself. All right, do you want to do a practice run or should yeah, we just go Yeah, just go it? over a practice run. Let me just see what it's saying. Okay. All right. It's like another season. Got to suck, 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 got to suck. Kokoriko, Elile, Kokoriko, Tete, Kolanama Tete, the Binakota Zona Bashege, Slow Wine Baby, Gino Noma Limbe, All Black on it, not like Tinny watching a Bacalon. She wanna bad boy, not to you, my yeah. Noma Tete, the Binakota Zona Bashege, All Black Noma Hosu Pimbe, Call out. Coco Gigi, tell me what you know about Kuluna. She want a bad boy, she don't want no you. According with the Antelope Axino mic, it's been really eye-opening on how, you know, mics that emulate hardware, mics that emulate other mics can actually sound. You know, I've always seen them online, I've seen the other products and thought, you know, that's a cool idea, but you know, does it sound like the real thing? And you know, after using the Axino mic, you know, I've recorded like multiple different rappers and singers as well, all in the last like two, three weeks. I mean, it's been manic, but all in the last two, three weeks. And actually going through the different like microphones and the different channel strips and things like that, it's actually been like really clear cut. You know, I found some really, really nice like chains. Yeah, so I've got loads of these chains. Uh, I've been making them over the last few weeks. And, you know, I've got an ambient chain here. So this one's just a bit of warm, nice bit of uh, tape. I flipping love this tape, man. It's so nice. This is a, this is a chain I made for a female artist using the, the M251, running into a BAE 1073 MP. Some of the microphones on the mean at the moment, we've been using the emulation of the TLM 49. Maybe it's actually the, the M49, but that that is like sounded really, really nice. It's been one of my favorites for sure. Tell them my story. I'ma tell them my story. I come from far, not Tamboli. This year I'm trying to see my Bamboli Nanga. Yeah, yeah, so with the with the Xeno, it's got a DSP chip, so it can support auto tune synergy, and that that has been like incredible. I mean, it, it's it's kind of blown my mind in this session because I've I've tried to use it before, and I I couldn't really get to grips with the interface because I've always used different products. But actually today, you know, putting this on, it has been so brilliant. You know, it's been really like subtle, but at the same time, it's it's tuned everything like the way it should sound and also with using like the human eyes feature as well that's just made it sound not auto-tuned you know it's actually sound like he's, he's really been you know singing it properly and fair play to him he has been singing it properly it's just been nailing that pitch and really just just putting it in the right kind of place so that today has been just like an incredible experience just hearing how that works um uh, the first bit is it a rap or uh a hook um the first bit goes like obviously the hook and then the ting in okay but should, we, yeah. should we run it with the auto tune first? The hook, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, cool. All right if you um, if you want more auto tune, just let me know. Yeah. Do you want to start from the beginning or two bars in? Yeah, yeah. So start from the beginning, okay. and then I'll just clip clip my fingers down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'ma tell them my story. I come from far, not Tamboli. This year I'm trying to see my Bamboli Nanga. I ain't gonna stop so booty kanga going from that into the next sort of parts, you know, into the actual sort of like channel strip stuff. And we've run it into a filter, so we're running it into the, the VQHLF. And this is just to remove some of the, the low end energy, um, you know, get rid of those sort of plosives, things like that. The microphone already has a low pass switch, but I've, sometimes I just I just like using some of the, the things as well, you know, just personal taste. And then after that, we're using the, the BAE 100CF. This thing is is brilliant. You know, we've been, we've been using it just to kind of do a bit of voice leveling more than sort of character. A lot of people nowadays are using stuff for character, but for this, it's it's a lot of vocal control. You know, Eugene's got a very dynamic voice. You know, he quite often he'll be doing stuff like really, really like timid and really close to the mic and that sort of thing. And sometimes, you know, he'll, he'll pull out and just like shout into it. On this track that we've done today, there's there's quite a lot of that. So you'll kind of hear how the, the compressors controlled that and created that sort of level, but, you know, sounds consistent and 
also makes it sound absolutely brilliant the whole way through. And then we're running with this uh, VEQ55B, which I'm just using to, to bring in a bit of highs and kind of just balance the mids a little bit. And actually that for me has been the, the star of the show, like on this, on this, uh, on this chain, because it's it's just brought out, you know, so much of the voice. And I personally, I will be using that again and again. And then once we're running it into, uh, into Logic, I am not putting anything on top of that. No post-processing, nothing like that, you know? Uh, I'm obviously I'm using some reverbs and things like that, you know, my own sort of stuff. And that's sort of the, the kind of thinking that I've had behind this vocal chain and, you know, what I've been able to use this with. I never forget where you fall The motherlands where my heart belongs But now come go, let's sing this song you know, using this microphone at home, it's been brilliant, you know? I've been able to, you know, use it in a load of different applications. I've, I've been able to, you know, just hang it outside my window and just record, like, ambient noise, people walking around the street, people talking, that sort of stuff. And I've also, like, used it on piano and, and other people's voices and things like that. I mean, I've brought it to Nottingham, I've brought it down to Brighton, you know, I've, I've used it in quite a few different places and, and it's always just been really really interesting exploring the different plugins see how things work with different people's voices with different instruments that sort of thing it, it's like it's like i don't know it's like being under a microscope but you know in audio so it's it's awesome <laughs> Are you kidding me now, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let this up like oh, the other ones. Are you kidding me? Nah, I like that, I love that, I love that, I love that. I come from different backgrounds, but it's crazy how it's like a song that can be in a different language might be your favourite song, because why? Because whatever they telling or whatever they saying just makes you feel some type of way and you'd be surprised that way that you're feeling was probably how they were feeling in the studio at that time. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I love about music, you know what I'm saying? So... I used to I used to be a race car driver, oh. uh, like full on professional race car driver, like in the top of the UK kind of thing, you know. And then I basically like stopped about I think maybe three four years ago or something. It must be four years by now. And then since then, just yeah, been pursuing music. But yeah, but like the the red and white car up there is is um yeah, it used to be my old car. That was in 2016. And then well, I don't have any photos of the 2017 stuff, but yeah, it was good. And that trophy up there is basically what sent my career into high bits. So yeah, but it's it's. That's pretty cool time.